Today in our 2014 Toyota FJ Cruiser, we're going to take a look at and show you how to install the draw tight max frame trailer hitch receiver. This is a custom fit class 3 receiver hitch with a 2 inch by 2 inch opening. Its part number is 75461. Now here's what the hitch is going to look like installed. Really clean look. All you're going to see is the receiver tube there. Everything else is hidden up behind our bumper. Um, attachment points are easy to get to. Uh, you'll fish wire a bolt in. The, the installation really won't take you that long. Um, on this particular one, two inch by two inch receiver tube opening, this is the class three. The hitch pin hole that you see here in the back, that's the one that we're going to use for securing our ball mounts, cargo carriers, all that. The one just in front of that is for use with the J-pin stabilization system. Part number on that, 63201. Um, and you can see plenty of room on each side here. So whether you're going to be using an anti-rattle bolt, hitch pin lock, standard hitch pin and clip, should have no problem getting those on or off. We've got nice safety chain connection points on each side. Kind of a rolled bar style stock steel that's going to go all the way around. Now we're going to have a small rounded collar. It's going to go around the receiver tube opening here. It's going to clean up that look and also it gives us a little more strength here on the end. Now as far as towing is concerned, we're going to have a 500 pound tongue weight rating. That's going to be the maximum downward force we can put here at our receiver tube opening. And we're going to have a 5,000 pound gross trailer weight rating. It's going to be the total of our trailer and everything that we've got loaded up on it. Now if you switch into a weight distribution style setup, you're going to increase your tongue weight up to 600 pounds, your trailer weight rating up to 6,000 pounds. And we keep in mind we need to see what the vehicle is capable of, so we'll check the owner's manual and just go off of whichever of those numbers are the lowest. Now a few measurements that will be helpful in selecting our ball mount, bike rack, or even hitch cargo carrier will be from the ground to the inside top edge of the receiver tube opening. We've got about 19 and a quarter inches. Then from the center of our hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of our bumper, it's two. And from the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of our tire cover, it's about eight and a half. Now to begin our installation side of it, we want to remove the two bolts holding our tow hook in place. Now the bolts, we'll return those to the owner of the vehicle. The tow hook we'll want to hang on to. It's going to go back up with our hitch. Now with our tow loop out of the way, just above the square hole in the bottom of the frame, we're going to have a couple black plastic caps, one on each side here. Just take a screwdriver and pop those out. Now we'll bring our fish wire right up through that square hole and go out our access hole. Place our spacer block on and also one of the half inch carriage bolts. Our spacer will go in. We'll feed our bolt in. And just gently pull on that fish wire and it'll come right out of the bottom. Now we'll do the exact same thing for our other side. So here on the driver's side at the very back you can see there's a plug here. What we want to do is just use a screwdriver, trim panel removal tool, whatever we've got. Let's pop that off and then we can just zip tie it right up here to the wire loom out of the way. And now here on the passenger side, it's going to be in the same location where the tow loop was on our other side. We want to spray a little lubricant up into our weld nuts there. And then we're going to use a tube brush to clean those out. That's going to free up any dirt or debris that might be up in there. Now we'll grab one of our bolts here and just make sure we can start it in there. Pull down on the exhaust a little bit and make it easier. All right, now let's grab our hitch and raise it up into position. Now we're going to bring it up and I want to start the wires for my fish bolts first. I'm going to start those through the flange on each side here. Then we can bring the hitch up. It's pretty useful to just kind of rest it on the exhaust on this side, help position it. Bring that on up through. Then we'll take one of our M12 bolts with our conical tooth washer. The teeth of that washer should face up towards the hitch. Just going to bring that, just start that one, three or four good turns. We'll go over and do the same thing on the other side. Now with our hitch resting in position on those two bolts we've started, we're going to unthread our fish wire, place another conical tooth washer up onto our carriage bolt, and we'll start one of our hex nuts. 
Now with that hand tight, I'm going to take this bolt back out here in the rear and we can place our tow hook in position. Just bring our bolt mechanical tooth washer right up through it and thread it back where it started. We'll go start our fasteners on the other side. Now let's just snug down our hardware. And we can torque it down to the specifications we'll find in our instructions. Now let's head over to the passenger side. We'll get those torqued down and our hitch will be installed. Now in our little caps that we removed, we want to take off just about an eighth of an inch on one edge. It doesn't matter which one. Just a razor knife, trim it off. Then we'll be able to put those right back in place. With everything torqued down to specification, that's going to complete today's installation of the Draw Tight Custom Fit Class 3 Trailer Hitch Receiver, part number 75461 on our 2014 Toyota FJ Cruiser.